I received the first MMS I received uh, was on 19 March at 10:28 p.m. and uh, the MMS was uh, was called entitled Anwar Ta Bermora. A uh, half an hour later, I received the second one. That was at 10:55 p.m. and that one was called MMS called Anwar Pembohong. The, I received the third one the next day morning at 7.52 a.m. And this one was called Anwa Bembohong as well. But this one is was actually a two seconds short, very short video. Two seconds very short video. So I received three MMS uh, trying to imply, which is trying to imply to imply that the subject in the message was Dato Sri Anwa. And all these message, all these MMS were from the same number. I don't know who, who was the sender. And I, I didn't bother to call back or MMS back like, or message back. So I feel that this was like very, very wrong. So the next day, uh, the same morning like, actually, I met y, uh, YB Nuru Iza in the parliament. So I showed it to her and discussed this matter to her. I raised it to her. Uh, she told me actually YB Fuzia also received a similar MMS 20th of March on 20th of March she says uh, for now only one lah on 20th of March I don't know I, it's similar but I haven't had a chance I mean to, to know in, in detail it's not something you want to view lah <laughs> time and time again <laughs> so um, we, we suspect that actually the sender not only just sent to me uh, and also not only sent to YB Fuzia but he or she or them can actually, they can actually send it to many many other general public as well and I think this is a very serious implication because they try to imply that the subject in the video or in the MMS were Dato Sri Anwar and you can see that uh, I, we, I suspect lah, I suspect the video or the MMS, the content were actually taken from the video that was actually displayed by Dato T. By Dato T. So that's why today we come here to lodge a report with uh, MCMC because we hope that only they can find out who is the sender, who is the sender of the MMS and then they can also like the action against the sender because I'm very worried. First of all, for the people who don't know the whole story, they might actually believe that the, the male figure inside the MMS uh, was Dato Sri Anwar. And secondly, uh, we don't know whether children, teenagers, they will receive the same thing as well. <coughs> so we hope action can be taken. That's why we are here today to lodge a report. Uh, just now I lodged a report uh, with the public complaints department. Um, the officer told me they will forward my complaint to the investigation department and if the, the investigation department feel that there is a need for further investigation then they will call me out they will call me out for uh, to take my statement for my further statement and they said uh, the officer actually, actually told me as well that if they need and uh, they want to investigate further then they, they will need to keep my handphone they will need to keep my handphone and I said, okay, you want to keep my handphone for how long? they said for the whole investigation period <laughs> um, which I don't know how long it would be la. Um, so this is the situation we are being put uh, we, we, we lodged a complaint so eventually uh, our handphone might be confiscated <laughs> I would like to strenuously stress here especially to Bernama and all the mainstream media it is not Anwar Ibrahim. The, the depiction of the person in the clip has not been confirmed by the authorities. Yes. And the, all that has been implied by the mainstream media, by even some leaders from the government, is that is that Sri Anwar Ibrahim. It is not. We have clearly stated this. You're talking about continuous efforts to vilify, insult, smear him. And if SKMM does not take clear action, then I hold the minister responsible and demand for his resignation because he is all out supporting a clear crime and uh, a, cult a dirty culture, basically, in supporting porn clips being distributed everywhere. 
And we haven't even gone to the issue that it, is, it, ha it was shown in the school buses, in public premises. Of course, we yeah. don't have access to those clips. But the point is, we are fulfilling our responsibility as citizens in this country, taking the time to lodge a report. But I must say, you know, maybe Boy Bikyo Neching is very nice, very kind. I say she doesn't have to give a handphone. You can download it. There's many, many other ways to just take the clip, take the number. I mean, I thought we were supposed to be one, one of the most technologically advanced countries in this world. So please, you know, do not, um, again, take punitive measures. Do not victimize the complainants.